Hi, I'm Mike Glenn, Senior Pastor of Brentwood Baptist Church, and I'm glad to have this opportunity of, of the YouTube channel to uh, spend a little time with you. If, you'd if you would help us out by hitting subscribe or like, uh, that would mean a lot to us because that kind of tells us that we're tracking where you need us to be. Hey, Mother's Day is coming up, and um, I have spent the last uh, couple of days trying to figure out what to give Jeannie. Now, this has never made any sense to me that I have to give Jeannie, who is my wife, a Mother's Day gift, but she's not my mother. She is Chris and Craig's mother. But if I don't give her something, well, I won't make that mistake twice. But some of you are like me in another way. You're uh, going through Mother's Day without your mom. Now, my mom and I were very close. And, uh, and as I talked about in my book, Coffee with Mom, my mom was a very strong personality and influence in my life, and I miss her every day. What do you do when you have um, this day and the person you want to say I love you to isn't here? Well, there's a couple of options. One, if you're like me, you had a great mom. Now, mom wasn't perfect, but uh, I always knew that she loved me, and I always knew that no matter what she was doing, she thought it was best for me. And if you know that about your parent, then you're pretty good. And I always knew that about mom. Uh, I'm going to spend the day in gratitude. I'm going to spend the day thanking God that I had a mom like I had, that she was willing to pay the price she was to give me every opportunity I had. And as part of that gratitude, I'm going to uh, think about my own life. Are there things that I admired about my mom, that I loved about my mom, that uh, I want to bring into my life? Is there part of that heritage I can keep on uh, in, in my own life? Uh, my mom was very gifted musically and she didn't give me any of that. So it probably won't be learning music, uh, but maybe my love for scripture and the church uh, that she shared with me would be something I can pass on. Now, for some of you, you didn't have a great mom. Uh, and just hearing the words Mother's Day brings you some level of anxiety or even depression and untold anger. We understand that. Uh, but it's your anger and it's, and it's your emotion, so what are you going to deal with? What, how, how are you going to deal with it? What are you going to do with it? Um, one, be honest about it. This is, this is where I am and this is who she was and this is what happened. I wish it were different, um, but it's not. This is the way it is. So get to that point where you can say, this is how it really was. Don't embellish it. Don't, uh, don't add anything to it. Find the truth of it. Okay? The, the truth, it can be hard to live with. I know that. But it's where you have to start. This is the truth. Then forgive them. Uh, now, don't misunderstand me. Okay? Forgiveness is for you. It's to release the other person from the expectation they can fix what they did. Okay? If your mother put hurt in your life, your mother can't take that hurt out of your life. And you will be angry because you hurt. And you'll be angry because your mom hasn't fixed it. She can't. The only person that can heal that hurt in you is Jesus Christ. So I'm going to forgive my mother who wasn't a great mom, and I'm going to say this is the way it was, I forgive you. I'm no longer expecting you to fix what you did in my life. What am I going to do with the pain then? I'm going to take that to Jesus in prayer. I'm seriously, I'm going to, I'm going to sit down with Jesus and say, listen, this is where I am. This is how I hurt. This is what she said. This is what she did. This is why I am so angry. And I want to sit there in prayer long enough for Jesus to heal the wound that is in my past so it stops bleeding into my future. Now, here's the bad news. If you don't deal with it, it will deal with you. Now, you can find that out in all kinds of ways. It can be health problems. It can be psychological problems. It can be emotional problems. Uh, you can have problems with authority. You can get mad at people and not know why. But your body will find a way to vent that pain. So be proactive. It's one of the good gifts that Jesus gives you, that no matter where you are, you can start new. Second, maybe you look for a new mom. <laughs> now, what do I mean by that? The church is great at rebuilding families. 
Uh, my grandparents lived six or seven hours from me, but I had tons of grandparents in Huntsville Park Baptist Church. I have had tons of people who were my grandfather and my grandmother, my uncles, my cousins, my mother and my father. None of them were blood. There are people in this church who would love to love you and who would bring great wisdom and truth to you and help you find a new way and a new you in that process. Use this Mother's Day to celebrate the good mom that God gave you, to deal with the disappointing mom that you had, but deal with it. Find forgiveness, find hope, and if you need to, this Mother's Day, find a new mom. I'm Mike Glenn, this is, and I'm the senior pastor of Brentwood Baptist Church. This is our YouTube channel. And to all the moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Thank you.